Hi Cupcakes! I know. This is what I look like when I wake up. right now I usually don't wake up until 11 11 30 because I'm a lazy piece of shit of a human being <laughs> so today's gonna be kind of like a get ready with me because I'm about to go film with my friend Maddie Aiken she's a new youtuber yeah we're gonna meet today we actually met through Instagram Instagram be starting friendships man I swear I made so many friends over Instagram and over makeup and just <laughs> Instagram got my back I don't have my contacts in because literally I I can't even talk this morning. I'm sure I'm very oily. I can't even see myself in the frame because I don't have my contacts in. Yeah, you guys gonna see the real deal because this is me when I wake up. I'm looking real oof right now. I'm doing this for you, okay? I got my blemishes. I got uh, crust in my eye. I got my little friends. This is what my hair looks like after I get out the shower and I sleep with my hair wet. So I'm just a mess. I need to get myself popping. Yeah, let's get ready. The first thing I do when I wake up is actually wash my face. But since I can't see you guys, I'm gonna plop my contacts in first. So I'm wearing my Gemini contacts, which I need to buy some more of. Unless you guys want to sponsor me and send me some product, that'd be cool too, you know? I use the Gemini contacts in the color white. I think they were like $35, $40, but they bomb. They make my eyes look blue. I don't know why. I just use uh, the Clear Comfort Multi-Purpose Solution. I've never put my contacts on, on camera, so this is kind of weird, but I have a mirror right here. Oh, I feel like it's gonna burn. I feel like it's gonna burn. I'm scared. I'm like super excited today because, I don't know, I just like meeting new people and collaborating with people, so... Don't be afraid to hit me up if you want to collaborate, if you want to work together. I got my contacts in. Now I wanted to show you first this product because I might be using it. Um, I have my studio lights on right now, but Amazon, Amazon, I forget which seller, but I will name all their information in the description box below, like always. They sent me a selfie light ring or a selfie ring light. <laughs> I already have one of these things, but I didn't know if it was different. I was surprised at how big the box was. I thought it was going to be smaller for some reason. It's a little bit different than the one that I have. The one that I have kind of just... Here, I'll just show you. The one that I have looks like this. I think I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. It has three settings. And it just clips on in the back. And you can charge it. It comes with a little charger. And you just clip it on to your phone or whatever you want. This one comes with like a goose a goose thing a goose a, a goose clip goose clip yes well it's a lot bigger than the one that i have it's the same circle size but it has more like space for the light so i think it'll be a little bit brighter it has this thing whoa 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 i don't know what this is for okay i'm gonna take this off whoa whoa it's I don't know what this is for. I feel like I'm a doctor. Like, let me listen to your heartbeat. Let me listen. Wait. Let me listen. Mm -hmm. So this clamps on to something. I'm gonna clip it onto my mirror. Um, and then it has this wire that's connected. And I don't know what this is for. It didn't come with directions, so do I have to like plug it into something? I think I have to plug it into something. Wow, this is like really inconvenient. I got a little cube. And I'm going to plug it in here. And I'm going to plug this in below. And it has these buttons right here. It has an on button. Oh! And then it has the minus button, which dims the lighting. Oh, and it has so many more settings than the one that I have. So this is the lowest setting right here. And then it has a plus sign at the top. Okay, let me take off my hair tie because that shit's bothering me. I just don't like having my hair tie show in my videos. I'm really weird about that. So the plus sign. So this is the lowest setting. Now I'm going to add some light. So that's the second setting. Third setting. Fourth setting. Fifth setting. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 
Okay, I think that's the highest setting. Um, the only thing is that I noticed is it's yellow light. So this is white light. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but white light is so much better for taking pictures because it's going to show the true colors of, you know, my makeup. And this one, it's going to be a little bit more warm tone. You can always, like, fix the warmth on my photos, I guess. This one doesn't last that long. Maybe, like, a couple hours, and then you got to charge it again, which kind of sucks. But if you're going to take a quick selfie, like, going out, this is, like, pre pretty perfect because this is portable. Like, you can fit this in your purse. This one is huge. It has a goose clip. I don't even know what the hell this thing is. Um... <laughs> But this one is cool because it has a lot more settings. I don't know if it's necessarily brighter than the one that I have. Let me see. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell because they're different light. They're different types of light. This is white light and this is like orange light or warm light, whatever. I don't know what the name is called. I like the size of this one. I like that it's wider. Oh, here, let me clip this on. Let me just let me just try this. I feel like I'm like rambling all over the place. I got it up on my mirror. I'll show you. I clamped it onto my mirror and I just faced it towards me. So now you guys can see. Um, wow, this is like really bothering me. I know it's bothering you too. Hey, just don't look at it. I don't know if that did anything. But it has one more button. It has kind of like a reverse sign. And I don't know what this does. Oh! Wait! Wait! It turned into white light. Let me show you. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'm really impressed right now. So, this is the original light, it's orange, right? This is my ring light, it's white. But then you press this um, reverse button right here. Oh, it turns white! And it's a lot more white than this one. See how much bigger the width is of this and the lights inside? So it's so much brighter as far as dying out like this one, you have to charge it. Whereas this one is just plugged in so you can keep it on as long as you want, as long as the light bulbs don't run out. Um, but then you press it again and it does yellow and white lights. And then you press it again and then it turns back into the yellow light. So I was not expecting it to turn white so that's pretty cool. And the fact that it has 10 different settings, level settings, I probably won't use the other settings. I'll probably just always turn it up to the brightest setting because I like bright light. My phone keeps going off. I'm so sorry. You can mix and match lights. You can have that third setting where it has the white and the yellow light, which I probably won't use. I'll probably just use the white light. But I think that's really cool. This one doesn't do that. The only thing, like I said, it's not portable and it has this wire thing. Like you ha always have to connect it so you can't take it with you, you know, if you're at a club and you want to take a selfie. Um, then you could just bring this one. For this one, I don't know, like, I guess I would just use it for my camera if my ring light dies or something like that. I'm probably not going to use it right now because I don't know if it's even doing anything, but let me turn it off right now and see. Yeah, see, so that didn't really make a difference. But if, you know, my box lights aren't working or if I'm somewhere else, then I can just use this. So I found something else I forgot to mention. It's this thing. I think it's to hold something up, but I don't know what it's supposed to hold up because... Oh, things are clicking. So, you know that metal bar thing that I was like, what the hell is this for? So, I guess this clips onto it and then you can put your phone in here. So, this thing, I guess I'm supposed to put this on, but I can't do it while the camera is showing. So, these huge wires are flexible. So, you can move this and then you can attach your phone here and then take a selfie. Yeah, that's what that was for. I was so confused. I was like, what is this for? But I found it out because I didn't see this clippy thing. I thank you, Amazon, for sending me that. Let me go on to the next product because I haven't washed my face yet. Um, Duval sent me this Radiant Spin Care System. I guess it's one of their new products. They also sent me their hair straightener. One of their hair straighteners. So thank you, Duval, for that. I've seen this all over the internet, so I've been wanting to try this. When they contacted me and asked if I wanted to try this out, I was like, hell yeah! But also, I want to try that straightener, right you know? I left my face wash at my boyfriend's house, so I'm going to use a different face wash that I don't usually use. And this, this comes with soap. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, okay. On the side, it says four deep cleansing brushes. There's the cleansing, exfoliation, and then pumice. Oh, that sounds really gross. I don't even know what that is. Is that like to take out blackheads, maybe? There's a big one, and then there's two smaller ones, and then there's that pumice one right there. Open this up! 
I'm so excited. Let's see. Let's see. Oh! Comes with instructions. Oh, okay. Wait. There's a battery. Oh, I hope there's a battery in there already because I don't have any batteries. What? They did not provide me any batteries. Come on, Deval. Oh, how do you open this? How do you open this? It says open right here, but I can't open it. That's so whack. I couldn't find batteries, so <laughs> I can't try this product out today. That sucks because I wanted to use it to clean my things. It's going to have to wait for another video, I guess, until I get batteries. Okay, so my bad. <laughs> I'm going to go wash my face real quick then with some face wash. I'm back because we're going to improvise. I'm going to try to use this. And see if it's usable without batteries because it's like a scrub so i'll just like manually do it you know i'm gonna put my hair up i'm gonna use the small one okay so i just clipped it on like that yeah i'm gonna take you with me oh my god i don't have my toothbrush I don't have my toothbrush, okay? It's gonna be one of those days. I'm sorry, Maddie. I know this is gonna be the first day we meet, but <sighs> I don't know what to tell you, girl. I left it at my boyfriend's house, and I'm not about to go to the store right now. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, goodness. So I'm getting. Whoa. Oh, I should use the goose lamp clip thingy, but I'm not gonna use the one with the wire because I can't bring that in here. I'm gonna use my portable one. I'll be right back. And <laughs> got it. Got it. I don't know if that helped or not, but we're just going to keep it on. I'm going to use this Morning Burst Oil-Free Facial Scrub from Clean and Clear. I don't know if there's any in here still. I'm going to get my face. I don't know if I'm supposed to put this face wash like directly on here. Mm. Mm. And this would be the moment where I turn it on, but couldn't find the battery, so I'm just going to... Like this, it feels really nice actually. I should have used the exfoliating one because I have a bunch of dead skin and I have this zit right there. But yeah, I forgot to put water on here, and that kind of helps it a little bit bubble up. So, see, yeah, you don't need batteries. No, if you're a broke bitch, you could just do it the manual way, like me. This feels so nice though, and I feel like it's grabbing all that dead skin off. Because when I just wash my face with my hand, I'm not scrubbing. But this is a scrubber, so it's going to really get into those pores and scrub all the dead skin off, which is what I need in my life. Don't forget to get the edges of your nose. Got a lot of dead skin there. The bristles are super soft, by the way. They don't hurt. I'm pretty sure the exfoliating brush will be a little bit harder and that one might hurt a little bit if you do it too long, but this feels really nice. It's like a massage. Ow! Oh, ow! Ugh. It was not a good idea. Softly, softly. Look! It totally took off all that dead skin. Yeah. I'm so hyper this morning. Oh my god, I feel so fresh. I needed that face wash. My skin feels so smooth. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yay! So that was that brush. I actually really like it. I can't wait to try out the exfoliating one because I need to exfoliate more. And I'm really interested to try this hummus thing. I don't know what this does, but I'm really scared to use it because it feels like rough. And I feel like it's gonna like rip my skin apart. Um, I might use this again tonight to take off my makeup. I want to see how that works. But I need to get batteries first. So stay tuned for the rest of this review. And I want to try the exfoliating one too. My face feels really dry right now. Super smooth but dry. So I'm just gonna moisturize and take down my hair. I heard you're supposed to use oils last. So I'm going to moisturize my face with this lotion right here. It's the Ultra Facial Cream by Kiehl's. I show this in my, uh, I forget what video. I think it's five minute makeup or something like that, on the go makeup. I'm just gonna take like a little dab and dot that on my face and rub it in. I should have used a toner, but I don't 
have any right now. Now, I have a lot of dark spots, so I use this dark spot corrector from Kiehl's as well. Just gonna take a little bit on my fingers and then dot it. Not dot it. Put it all over my face. And I'm also gonna use some of this Daily Reviving Concentrate. I haven't used this in a bit, but I love this stuff. It smells like lemon. Before I go on to straightening my hair, I'm going to apply a little bit of foundation because I know you guys can't go on the rest of this video seeing my natural face, I know. I'm gonna apply a little bit of corrector because, you know, this red spot be showing through. I'm gonna pick it up on my finger because I don't have my brushes out right now. For foundation, I'm using L'Oreal's 24 hour infallible pro glow in 209 caramel beige i'm not gonna do my brows or anything like that i'm gonna do that at maddie's house because i think we're doing to get ready with me come on i need to cover that up you can still see the bump but you know at least you can't see any of the redness or anything like that and i think the swelling will go down in like a couple hours Gonna use this loose setting powder from Maybelline and it's in medium 25. I forgot to put concealer on, so I'm using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC35. I'm just gonna pick it up with my finger. <sighs> Foundation is not sticking to my nose because I think so oily i don't know if it's because of the oils i applied either i don't know if i should be applying that before i apply my makeup set this mm, i look so pale so i'm just gonna set my face real quick so it's not so dry looking Okay, foundation is on. Now I'm going to straighten my hair with the Rendezvous Professional Styling Iron by Duval. Comes with a glove, but I probably won't use it because I already tried that with the Lunge Curling Iron and I did not like that. It's just a little bit harder to use, I feel like. This is what the iron looks like. Um, super thin with the Duval logo. Temperature goes from 270 degrees Fahrenheit to 320 to 360 to 410 to 450. It has these metal bars. It has silver hardware. So it only has one button, but I like that it has the outside a little bit higher than the iron so I can hold this while I'm like straightening, you know? Um, and it's already starting to get hot. It's been like, what, five seconds? And I turned it to 320. I don't straighten my hair a lot, so I don't know what temperature to do. But I'm sure as I use this more, I'll know. It has this little twisty thing, which is great because I hate when I'm curling or straightening my hair and I'm using it and the wire twists because this part doesn't twist. But since this twists along with it, I'm sure I won't have such a hard problem with it. So my hair is not completely straight. It's a little bit wavy and a little bit fluffy. <laughs> not curly it's not straight it's just kind of randomly some pieces are straighter than others my hair is just really weird this section my hair off so right below my ears i think this is ready and um, i can feel it on the outside it's pretty warm this is already pretty hot like when i touch my hair after and this is only on the second setting so when i put it all the way up it's gonna be super hot but I probably won't do that because I don't like using a lot of heat on my hair because I want my hair to grow. If I use too much heat, it won't grow as fast. If you can see the difference, it made it a lot straighter. Maybe I should do one side, right? And then show you the difference. See, my hair has a little bit of waves. If your hair is tangled, make sure to comb that out first because you don't want to straighten when your hair is all tangled, otherwise it's, it's not going to work and you can actually damage your hair like that. Straightener is actually really, really easy to use. It doesn't squeak. I've used some straighteners that squeak when you like go like this. I don't know if it's because it's new or whatever, if it's older and it does start doing that, but so far it's not doing that, so that's a great thing. There's like not a lot of um, resistance on it.
So I finished this side. So if you can see the difference, it's a lot more straight and it's so much neater than this side. It just makes my hair look a lot more healthier than this side. <laughs> this side just looks so dead. So you see these waves? I think I still have a little bit of conditioner in my hair. That's why it's sticking together and it looks kind of wet. Okay, so hair is done. What I like about this straightener too is that it has these little bar thingies. So when you set it down, it's not touching the table or whatever you're setting it down on. If you watched my review on the curling iron from lunch, they did not have any type of stand so it would just sit on the desk or sit on the floor and that's really dangerous because it could be a fire hazard. The fact that it has these little stands and this material on the outside so I can like clip it. It's a little bit hot still but at least it's not this metal material. I really like this straightener. Everything about it, I don't have any issues with it so far. Um, if anything pops up, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I'm going to go pick out an outfit and then I'll be right back. Okay, I got my outfit. I'm just wearing a halter top. And then I got a green skirt that's cinched right here. And it's really long. It's pretty long. And then it goes all the way to my feet. And I have these shoes right here, which give me a boost, you know, because I'm only 4'11". Then I got my bathing suit for later. And it's just... Green. This is from Calzedonia. Super cute. It has the three straps on the side. It has a little cinch at the booty to make your booty look a little bigger. And then the top is just simple. It's just two triangles that ties around your neck and your back. And it actually matches my skirt. So that's why I'm wearing the skirt. So when I wear the top, and I just have my skirt on. It'll be like really cute, you know? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go to Santa Monica, meet up with Maddie. We're gonna film. Like I said, I don't know if the rest of this video is gonna be on this video or if it's gonna be on her channel. But if it's not on this video, then I guess I'll see you over her channel. If this concludes this video, then thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around through my hectic morning. I don't usually talk this much, I feel like, and I'm usually not a morning person whatsoever, but I'm just super excited for today. And yeah, stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you on over there. Bye. Okay, I made it to Santa Monica. And now I'm meeting up with Maddie. So nice over here. I think I see her. She's right there. Hi, you're on camera. <laughs> it's Maddie. Hey. I'm wearing no makeup. I'm it's so okay. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, you're how so you? cute. I'm Thank like, you. I'm not wearing any I, makeup. I'm like... so glad you're, I thought you would be taller. Oh, well, I, I'm also wearing um, a couple I'm inches. <laughs> no, I wish I was shorter. <laughs> <laughs>